Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Let's see if I can do this in one take. It's uh, quite simple. One of my more popular videos is how to enable SNMP on Windows 7. And now I've got Windows 8.1. So let me show you how to do it with that. It's not that much different, but there's always that little twist. So I'm using this little tool here called SNMP Get. And if I press Enter, this will actually do an SNMP query to my loopback address 127001 and it will fail because the SNMP service is not installed on my machine. So what I'm going to do is show you how to turn that on. When we go to our control panel under programs and features you've got this link turn windows features on or off and if you go down to SNMP basically you just turn that on and you can even turn on the WMI SNMP provider as well. When you click OK off it goes it will install all the software I've done that already so mine obviously didn't show you the dialog box but yours will uh, and your system will probably ask you for a reboot at the end of it please do the reboot just to make sure okay otherwise you may end up with some problems when that's done you just go to your services uh, the easiest way to get the services is you can just uh, do Windows R and type services dot MSC enter and you get the services box which is pretty well what I had up a moment ago so when you take your services box right here we go down to SNMP service you can double click on it you can make sure that the service type the startup type is automatic make sure it's running and now the fun stuff go to agent make sure that you have your information in there I always put my name and a description of my laptop because I have more than one and then from there you go to the security tab now here's the thing you have to set up this is called an authentication trap but it's for network people this is your read-only community string so we're gonna hit add read-only and we're gonna use good old public and I strongly advise you not to do this in the real world because public's a default string you should have something other than public on your system that you've figured out so there you go all done come back to my little utility I'll bring up my last command off we go and there it is it queried it and the value is Tony Fortunato there you go folks so that didn't take very long at all. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.